We all know that the better we can control our emotions and discipline our mind, the easier life gets. But how do we actually get our mind on board? By the end of this video, you know exactly how to control your emotions and discipline your mind. Hey lovebug, I'm Vivi. Welcome to Adventure Evolve. My channel is all about guiding you to an exceptional relationship with yourself and your partner due to emotional intelligence. So consider subscribing and hit the little notification bell to get notified whenever I release a new video. When we are emotional, our capacity for thinking intelligently drops dramatically and we can't really think what's good and what's right and what we should do because we just act out of our emotion but we have the choice to choose how we feel as reacting to our emotions is never going to get us to our goal the one thing that is key here is that there's no one fit one size fits all solution so i'm going to show you a few examples and you just try it out pick what works for you and don't beat yourself up if it doesn't work for you everyone is different and everyone needs different kind of solutions so my favorite thing to start with is number one the cause what causes the emotion a lot of times we have special triggers that come up again and again which can be words smells different situations or places that trigger a certain emotions in us so for me it's especially airports in third world countries where you know you had a long flight you just get out of the flight out of the airport it's kind of hot normally and you have like all these people like taxi taxi transport transport taxi lady lady transport and it like annoys the shit out of me like freaks me out and it's a really like a nice experience for me every single time so what can i do to prevent that normally i try to figure out either like how i get from that place to my accommodation first either i have someone picking me up um, i'll make sure i know how to get a, a bus or like um a, a whatever kind of like uber or whatever beforehand so i'm avoiding all that um trouble and it, i i try to like really ignore it and not having to deal with these people in the airport because they really annoy me so I'm just trying to prevent that beforehand so I don't have to deal with it. Number two is where do you feel the emotion? A lot of times we have um, specific places in our bodies where we feel emotion. So for me, it's like anger or um, anger and frustration. I feel it in my stomach, but love and sadness, I feel it like in my heart space. So oftentimes if it's hard for us to say, um, to name the emotion and to really know like oh I'm feeling frustrated or I'm feeling annoyed or angry We can look in our body scan our body where am I feeling this emotion and then over time we learn Oh, okay. I'm feeling it in my stomach So it's probably more anger frustration and not so much sadness because oftentimes we can feel Anger sadness frustration all at the same time. So we don't really know where to pinpoint it but if we look at our body we know um, what's the main emotion here? What's like the core emotion that we're feeling? We can pinpoint it and then know what kind of emotion we're actually feeling. Let me know in the comments below where you usually feel um, frustration or anger or where you feel love or you feel your favorite emotion in your body. And then the third part of it is um, our mind. What are we thinking? A lot of times we're feeling a certain emotions and the more or less same thoughts come up again and again so identifying what we're thinking what are our thoughts on a certain topic on the emotion a lot of times people start um, beating themselves up with the same things like oh i'm just not good at this i just suck i'm just not good enough um all these like negative things that come up again and again with a certain emotion that we are feeling. Most of the time we also have a supporting belief or thought to our emotion. So knowing what emotion we're feeling, we can backtrack it and then reaffirm what we're thinking in a positive way. So for example, you're giving a talk and you're feeling like really anxious and you're like, oh, I'm just not a good speaker. I'm probably gonna forget what I have to say. Let's reaffirm it and put it in, I'm a good speaker and my presentation will be amazing. Just something positive that comes to your mind should be great. 
Our ego is often part of like the emotions that we're feeling. So knowing that it's our ego talking or our ego trying to push us into a certain emotion or feeling can also help us to separate ourselves from the ego, from the emotion, from whatever we're thinking, knowing that, okay, that's not true. That's just my ego talking and that's absolutely bullshit. So there's two ways to change our feelings and discipline our mind, which is number one, reframing our thoughts and our mind into something positive which if you're really pessimistic and we always see the risk can be quite hard at the beginning but there's always a point to start so we don't have to become the most positive person overnight which is really hard but finding one positive thing and a solution or one opportunity there's always an opportunity, there's always something positive in everything. We just have to look for it. So training our mind to look for the positive, for the upside, um, is an amazing thing and will help us to automatically do that in the future. The more we do it, the more we train it, the easier it gets, just like with everything in life. And the second part is called emotional kung fu. If you've ever heard or learned anything about kung fu, it's not about directly fighting back, but using the emotion or the energy that is brought to you, towards you to reflect back on that person. So how does it work with emotions? Normally we're getting um, criticized or we're getting like some feedback that we're not really happy with. And we try to like defend ourselves, to push it back and resist it. I'm like, oh no, that's not true. I don't want to even want to hear that. But with emotional kung fu, we take it in and we try to see, okay, what's the lesson in here? How can I learn from that? Asking questions to really gain something from that um, emotion, thoughts, criticism, whatever is brought towards us. So instead of defending it and like resisting and pushing it back, we invite the arguments, the criticism, the whatever is coming towards us, asking questions regarding it so you can really understand and hopefully learn something from it. Even if it's just someone else's point of view, someone else's opinion, it's always good to understand what other people think or know or um, if they have different ideas so that we can learn from it. If this video was helpful to you, consider subscribing as we have a bunch of other and similar videos that can help you too. And also, if you really want to become a master of your emotions, I have an incredible program that's linked in the description below. Go check it out. Um, if you want to improve your communication skills, there's a free training below as well. And if you like this video, share it with your friends and family so they can learn about emotions and how to reframe what we're thinking as well. Um, give this video a like if you did. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.